championships, and that is the most in the National League, the second in all of baseball. Uh, first of the Yankees, we're going to catch them, I'm sure. They've got 27, <laughs> yes. we're right behind them. Yes, uh-huh. yes, yes we're going to be there. So, um, but uh, first in the National League, so we're, we're uh, proud of that. So, first one in 1926, um, that was uh, against the Yankees. Now, were you a Yankee fan? Or no? no? No, okay. I picked the wrong team. No. Usually when the Cardinals are in town, um, the air conditioning's fine. <laughs> but when they go out of town, they turn it off and um, have to pay the tour guides, you know. It's just... <laughs> and the players. So, um, this room is kind of highlighted by the, this wallpaper here. And say. Same... The elder suite and where the tour guys watch the games from. <laughs> uh, so there's been a lot of uh, uh, very important people that have <laughs> been in here, obviously, and um, just kind of a little little treat that the owners are letting us do this. So um, don't have a lot to say about the room, just you know. But I will show you some things outside since we're in this air conditioned and <laughs> we're in here. So if you look straight across from where we are, that green grassy area there in the black oh. sign above it. If you're wondering why, yeah, they don't have seats in that area, it's, I heard somebody say, I like the batter's eye. What that means is if you're a batter looking up at the pitcher and he's got a little white ball and he's got a little bat, you want the background behind you to be solid or something dark anyway, that ball coming off it and uh, don't need people with white shirts and arms waving and stuff. So every ballpark, uh, major league ballpark has a batter's eye but they can do whatever they want to with it. They all look different. Uh, and I, I find it kind of fun watching, you know, uh, way games on TV, what different teams have done with theirs. Um, there's not supposed to be movement. Some of them <laughs> look like they are, like with like the swimming pool, you know, but it's just off a little bit, you know, it's not straight out there. And it just has to be dark. Um, Kansas City has like the- uh, Water. Yeah, they have the, the ah. water going, but they, when a batter's up, they can't be moving the, you know. Um, but there's some really cool things. Colorado, you know, has a mountain motif and, you know, so. So that's called the batter's eye. And during the game, if you come, that black sign, you go, wait a minute, there's an ad on that sign. But um, as soon as the batter comes up, it turns completely black. So mm. cool. Uh, if you look to the right of the batter's eye, those red numbers on the, the brick wall. Actually, the was- uh, Cardinals moved in in 1920 to a stadium called Sportsman's Park that was later renamed Bush Stadium. So sometimes that is called uh, uh, Bush One. But Sportsman's Park was uh, built in the early 1900s, and it was not a downtown sa- uh, stadium. It was about if you're from St. Louis or know anything about St. Louis, is down by the Fox Theater, which five miles uh, as a crow flies from here. But uh, it was an old wooden stadium. We won seven world championships in Old Sportsman's Park. Um, In the early 1900s, they didn't have all the fancy equipment we have, so they put goats on the field to keep the grass down. So (laughs) we've come a long way. Um, And in uh, 1953, that's when Anheuser-Busch, Mr. Bush bought the the team, and he also bought Sportsman's Park and renamed it Bush Stadium. Um, He he wanted to name it Budweiser Stadium, but... um, uh, they didn't want to name it after an alcoholic drink, and at that time you couldn't really do um, corporations. Like Wrigley was family name, so he said, I can't name it for my family, and they gave him permission to do that. And it's so uncanny. Like two years later, Bush Beer came out. What are the chances of that? I mean, <laughs> so, uh, um, and then in 1966, we opened Bush Stadium 2, which was uh, right downtown. They're trying to revitalize the downtown area in St. Louis. If you've seen pictures uh, of the round 96 Arches Concrete Stadium, um, 96 Arches all around, that one's Bush 2. And it was over here where Ballpark Village is right now. And 
And if you walk over there, when you go, your ticket gets you into the museum, by the way, which is in that building over there. You'll see a, uh, a grassy field, kind of astroturfy kind of thing. That's where the field was. Oh, wow, this is cool.